Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo and Samsung just pushed off some updates to several different Samsung Galaxy devices today here on January 20th. Now I already updated this one on accident this morning at 6.09 so I wasn't able to do it in front of you guys, but I did take a look afterwards. I didn't see any changes in terms of applications or services. Uh, this one does end in BWA2, size is 353 megabytes. It's still the January 1st patch. Now this is the second update that we got on the Galaxy S22 series this month. The first one we got was right around January 5th or January 6th. So if you've already updated the S22 series, you might want to take a look. There's another update. I wasn't able to see anything from the forefront. So everything was pretty much put into the background of this device. Now also too, we have an update for the Galaxy Watch 5. Now this one over here, I, I hit on the, the, uh, the install button and download button right as I was hitting on record. And I saw the little screen talking about a new functionality with the camera. Also, you'll be able to diagnose the Galaxy Watch 5 inside of the Samsung members application. So if you remember from a few days ago, I uploaded a video that there's an update for the Galaxy Buds 2 Pros where you're able to go inside of the Samsung members application. You can diagnose your, your uh, earbuds, taking a look at the touch, the sound, the proximity sensor, if it's sitting in your ears, things like that. So you're, you'll see a bunch of things similar with the Galaxy Watch 5. So once this is done, we'll actually go inside of this little update right here. Uh, and I'm gonna show you what this update all entails. If we take a look at the watch settings uh, and then we go inside of the watch software update. So we'll be able to read everything that's new. We'll take a look at it inside of the Samsung members app as well. So if you own the Galaxy S22 series device, if you own a Galaxy Watch 5 or Watch 5 Pro, take a look for this update as well. And also we have the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So this Galaxy Z Fold 4, this one is a pretty large update. We didn't have an update with this one for a full entire month, which is why this size is at 924 megabytes. Now, normally with every single month with updates, they're right around 200 to 300 megabytes. So I'm pretty sure we should be able to find something after this update that has been improved uh, and, and updated You know, from the forefront. This one ends in BWA2. Again, size is 924 and it finally gives you that January 1st patch. So here we are on January 20th. We're just now finally getting it. Uh, I've already wrote down some of the different versions of applications and services from the Fold 4. So we'll take a look at this one uh, when this is all done as well, just to see what also is new. Now, when you're updating all of your Samsung phones and watches, one of the other things that you also want to do is head inside of your Samsung folder, go inside of that Galaxy store, because there's sometimes going to be those updates that you're looking for. Instead of them coming from uh, these updates here, they're going to be sitting right here being pushed from the Galaxy store. So this is where I'm going to see an update for Samsung text to talk or, or text to speech. So you can update that one right there. Secure folder. So now we have an update for secure folder. Now this one could have been pushed maybe a couple days ago as well. So we're going to look back here. This one was January 13th. So again, don't forget to take a look inside of your Galaxy store. You're going to see some updates. And then the last one here on this list from Samsung is game plugins. So I see right here where it says support ROS and support SOS. So I don't know if that means Samsung One UI 5.0 and then Samsung One UI 5.1, or if it's 5.1, and then also the foldables and flippables. So this one right here is just updated for the latest Samsung Galaxy devices, if it's gonna be the flips and folds, or if that last one was talking about, which my guess is Samsung One UI 5.1. So again, always when you update your phone, go back inside of the Galaxy store to see what is sitting there that you are maybe expecting to see from this update, but instead of them putting it inside of this package here, this little size, they're just getting it, pushing it off when it's ready individually inside of the Galaxy Store. So it's usually at this point in the video, I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information and updates on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now, once both of these right here finish with their updates, we will go back inside of the Galaxy Watch 5 so we can take a look at what is new in terms of that new camera function, as well as what is new with Samsung members and what you can diagnose and what you can test on the Galaxy Watch 5. 
And we'll also take a look at what is new with different apps and services with the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So make sure you guys stay tuned for these updates and specific details of what has changed. So the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro's update is done and complete. This was the screen I was trying to show you from before, but we couldn't take a look at it until this one was finished. So there is a new camera controller feature that was added. So if you use camera controller, it's an application that you can download to the watch and the phone. So this way you can do things remotely through the watch to your cell phone. So now what you're able to do is change zoom on your phone camera remotely through pinching in or out on the watch screen or through rotating the bezel. This feature is only supported on flagship models released after the Samsung Galaxy S20 or Z Flip running on at least Samsung Win UI 5.1. And then the next new feature is gonna be built inside of Samsung members. So again, make sure that you have the latest version of Samsung members on your phone because now there's a new area. It's called Connected Device Diagnostics. Uh, this option has been added to check the proper performance of the Galaxy Watch's battery status, touchscreen function, and more on the connected phone. Please update Samsung members and Galaxy Wearable app to its latest versions for using the connected device diagnostics feature. And then they also made sure that the stability, reliability, stability has been improved as well. So this one again was right around the size of 349 megabytes. Uh, this version ends again for this watch, uh, AWA3. So what they're talking about when it comes down over inside of the Samsung members application, because this is one that I, I, I find to be more helpful than the the uh, camera controller. I don't really use the camera controller on my on my watch or the cell phone. I just do everything from the phone. It's just, you know, super simple in there and, and easy. Plus also I have the S Pen. So if there's anything I want to do remotely, I just do it through the S Pen, through the Air Actions, things like that. So if we go, uh, first off, you want to go inside your Galaxy Store, make sure that your Samsung members is the latest version here inside of Samsung members. Once you open it up, you're actually gonna head over into the support tab on the bottom. Now, once you go inside of support tab, this is where you'll be able to see anything that's connected as long and also your phone's own diagnostics. So this right here is the phone diagnostics. There's 25 different things I can test of this phone here, like the S Pen, USB connection, fingerprint recognition, the mic, the flashlight, the buttons, mobile network, NFC. So if you feel like you're having any issues with your phone, you can diagnose it right from here. Now, if I had my Galaxy Buds 2 Pros with me as well and connected to the this phone, you'll actually see two options, my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and the Galaxy Buds 2 Pros. So right now we only have the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro connected. This is the part that's brand new that was with this update. So we're gonna go through, we're going to get this one installed. Now, once I updated the software for the diagnostics to work, I was still inside of Samsung members. I tapped on the watch, it didn't work. So I had to fully close out of the application. So I just open this up, I hit on close all. So you might need to do that as well. You just wanna go back inside of that Samsung members application, and then you head back over inside of support. And then here is that diagnostics right here for the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. And it looks like that there's 15 different tests that you can perform, the battery status, the power restart status, official software, just to make sure it has the official software on there. So if you buy a you know, third party from someone else, you wanna make sure that it wasn't you know using something else, you can make sure it's official. You can check for updates as well, which we literally just got done doing. Um, so if you take a look at pretty much any of these, it's going to connect and then pretty much take a look at things. So it says right now capacity 590 milliamp hour. So it's typical. Uh, you can also test it again if you want to. You can test out the speaker. Um, proceed with the test. So right now, uh, tap play to check for sound. And yes, there was definitely some sound. It went on a little bit longer than I thought, but yes, we are sitting normal. So again, you can go through, test all of these ones, vibration, mic, wireless charging, wrist detection, notifications. So some of these, you'll have to put the watch on your wrist to actually get them tested. Some of them, you can leave it on the table and, and test it that way. So it says that we have two of them normal. We have 13 left that we can test. Uh, but I, I feel that you kind of get the justification of everything that you're able to get done here. Again, this is inside of the Samsung members application. And if you do have that camera controller application, application uh, that's downloaded to your watch and you like to use it, you like to view, you know, whatever's on your phone through the watch, you know, take pictures, up, you know, from the phone's camera through your watch, you can do that as well. I don't really use that one. So now we're going to move on over into the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So this one just got finished being updated. We're going to go inside. It says right here, software update is done and complete. Again, here we go, BWA2. We're basically just going to go through and see uh, what we can find 
um, that is brand new. So first off, we're going to take a look at the camera. So before the update, uh, the version used to be 13.0.0.1.10. This one's now 13.0.0.1.17. So, uh, you know, some of the things that's being added in, especially, you know, with the watch, being able to do those little controller things, you know, that was probably put in through the back end. Or if you've had any issues with autofocus, things like that, this update maybe could have helped that as well. We're also going to take a look inside of the gallery. We're going to see if this is a little bit more stable than from before. The version used to be 14.0.0.0.3.5. It's now 14.0.0.0.40. Again, uh, there may not be new features. You just have a newer version and also to the latest security of those applications. Now we're going to take a look at home. So if you ever had any problems or issues with your home screen or maybe widgets or something like that, or, or, uh, your, your, uh, you know, pretty much any problem there. The original of home used to be 14.0059. This one's now 14.0.0547. So we have a newer version of Samsung home. Uh, we're also going to take a look at phone. So for the phone, for the information, this one used to be, uh, 14.0.0510. This one's now 14.0.0515, so a newer version of the phone application. Uh, now we're going to go inside of Samsung Messages. I don't use Samsung Messages. I always highly suggest just using Google Messages. It's so much better. But for Samsung Messages, the version used to be 14.0.10.43. It's now 14.0.13.11, so newer version there. Again, I don't use it, so I don't know if there's any newer features with it, but at least it has a newer version and probably better you know, security. Now, another one I do want to take a look at is Security Folder. There's been a lot of updates with Security Folder lately uh, and Knox, things like that. So this one used to be 180035. This one's now 180041. So every single thing that I took a look at, all of the features, all the different applications, all got an update of some sort on the back end with the update here for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So just remember if you own the Z Fold 4, you have a pretty large update. Again, it's about three times as large as what it normally is. If you own the Galaxy S22 series, any of the devices, this is the second update that I've received this month alone in January. So it's right around January 6th, and then again, January uh, 20th. And then we have the newer version for uh, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro which will bring in the ability of doing, you know, your camera controller additional feature along with being a part of Samsung members so you can diagnose your watch as well. Uh, just like you're always able to do with your phone, it's really cool now you can do it with the accessories that you attach to your Samsung phones. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe at the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.